we, we talked about starting the season, we wanted to do something that was um, extra lively and very special. And so we, we thought to turn to Latin music because Latin music is full of rhythms, it's full of passion. And um, it just it's a fabulous way, I think, to start the season. And we have composers uh, representing Mexico, Argentina, and actually France. But the two French pieces are inspired by Spanish music. Uh, Carlos Chavez wrote his uh, Sinfonia India, uh, inspired by the music and the instruments of, of uh, Mexican Indians. It's a symphony in one movement. It's only about 16, 17 minutes long, but it does have a, a fast beginning and ending and in between a rather uh, beautiful middle section. Blas Galindo is not as well known as Carlos Chavez, but uh, perhaps the piece he is best known for is the one we're beginning the concert with, and that's his Sones de Mariachi, which he wrote in 1953. And it is basically a medley of some of the more famous uh, mariachi tunes put, um, put in a symphonic form. And, and he makes you know, great use of all of the instruments of the orchestra, some solo instruments once in a while, there's a beautiful oboe solo, and of course, lots of percussion. The, the second half starts with the Symphony Espanol by Edouard Lalo, who is a French composer, but he wrote this piece for Pablo de Sarasate, who is one of the great uh, virtuosos of any any generation. He was a Spanish violinist and was uh, often called the Paganini of Spain. So Lalo, in writing this piece for Sarasate, decided to set it with uh, Spanish rhythms, uh, something evoking Spanish folk music. Uh, Francisco Fulana it was born in Spain and he was trained mostly in Spain, but he did attend also the Juilliard School and uh, at one time was a student of Midori who, as you know, is going to be a soloist with us later on in the season. And he is a, a recipient of an Avery Fisher grant, which is a, a major award given to a, a very special instrumentalist. But we're, we're so delighted he's gonna make his first appearance with us uh, on these concerts. concert will conclude with another French composer, uh, Maurice Ravel, but uh, perhaps his most famous, and some say his most infamous piece, Bolero, which uh, originated actually as a, a, a ballet for one dancer, Ida Rubinstein. Ravel often said that this piece was kind of an experiment, a musical experiment, in which there are only two melodies running the, the, the gamut of the 16 minutes of the piece, but it is also a study in orchestration uh, and how a composer can start uh, a crescendo with the very s softest sounds and, and have the orchestra build to an incredible, uh, incredible climax in sound. It, it's one of those pieces that I think nearly everyone loves. Very few people that I've met uh, don't like the piece. And um, it is also a, a fantastic showcase for the orchestra. Practically every uh, principal wind player has a solo playing the, the, the two melodies. How Ravel just builds and builds and builds is, is just quite extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs>